Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you?、Uh, today, my topic is about the non-traditional education. It、uh, that is introduction to the accelerated program. According to Burden of 2003, the distance education is one of the、uh, accelerated program that provide adult students the opportunity to work together to address the real world issues. Okay, so one of the distance、uh, learning courses addressed by Burden was、uh, SOFE, which stands for Service Oriented View Experience. So. SOFE offers adult students travel, collaborate, serve, and learn together, and change、uh, their worldviews. Okay, so、uh, according to Shaw 2001, cited by Burton 2003, he said it's extraordinary that sometimes you have to journey to a place、um, totally outside your. Normal environment in order to discover the、uh, parts of yourself that helps you to recognize what can be done、uh, in, uh, in your backyard. All right. Now we have today、um, this topic. We、uh, divide. I've divided into、uh, five sections altogether. The first session is about the modern society phenomena. Second session is about the fact about accelerated program, and the third session is how to enhance the accelerated programs, and the fourth session is how to study within the accelerated program so as to keep on track. And the fifth session is about the reality of future of accelerated programs. Right. So, first session, we、we'll、talk about the modern society phenomena. So, today, non-traditional education provides、uh, comprises most colleges with no rigorous assessment of the content, process, or outcomes. Rodowski in 2003 said, "We are in a new world of learning,、uh, no longer bound by the construction of the past, convention of the past." Sorry. So, higher education has the following phenomena. Online, re- online learning,、uh, technological mediated learning, or accelerated learning. So almost seventy five percent of undergraduate students today are considered as non traditional. Why? Because they are uh, out. Uh, they are the uh, uh, they attend the college part time. They are、uh, financially independent and delaying enrollment into the college beyond the high school graduation. Um, given the above uh, uh, situations and demands from jobs and families,、uh, they prefer programs that are time efficient and responsible to their needs and lifestyle. So, but there are questions to the non-traditional education, according to Rodowski in two thousand three. So, how to provide a、uh, um, quality education? How to remain t-、uh, true to the mission? And how to be an agent of equitable social and economic improvement to a global world? And、uh, whether to、um, promote rigorous assessment and research or discard the idea. Now come to the second section, the fact about accelerated programs. So it is totally adult-oriented world of learning. So Carson in two thousand three studied that. Facts about accelerated programs it, it represents a new mental model of learning, and it, it is grounded in adult maturity and responsible engagement in world beyond the class beyond the classroom, and it combines both program structure and learning designs、uh, directed to adult action, adult work identity, and adult competency. So learning designs are, are adult based, completion based, and community based. All right. Come to the third session is about how to enhance the accelerated program. Scott 2003 studied the instructional and classroom attributes that would enhance the、um, accelerated program. These are the instructor enthusiasm and the experience and his experience,、uh, action learning, classroom interaction, good course.、Um, Uh, organization and student input,、uh, a collegial classroom atmosphere, and a、uh, relaxed learning environment. These are the、uh, attributes that in,、uh, help to enhance the accelerated program. Okay. As a result, students、uh, report、uh, to be more concentrated, focused learning, collegial, comfortable classroom relationships. So, students also report to have more memorable experiences,、uh, in-depth discussion, less procrastination, and stronger academic performances.、Um, the goal of assessment for accelerated learning. 
program is nearly identical to traditional program. This was, it was according to a uh, World Book in 2003. Fourth section, how to study within the accelerator program so as to keep on track. The idea of accelerator program is using instructor-led and self-study information as a guide to improve. The often, lead learners are working in isolation with occasional short bursts of ten uh, teacher-led group learning so without some period of separation from peers teachers and culture adult will um, mimic unthinkingly the uh, um, views and preferences of the majority uh, studied by Brookview 2003. Brookview also showed uh, stress that weekly initiation into the typical adult education are mentally ingrained such as uh, imaging, common sense, uh, public opinion uh, and conventional wisdom. And then we enforce each time learners come together to a classroom, thus offer chances to explore, uh, to open, and by paraphrasing uh, what she feels about others thinking or what to think. All right. The fifth section, the reality of future accelerator program, and this is the study according to Hassan and Kennedy in 2003. The accelerator programs are growing and becoming more and more popular among the adults who are seeking for higher education. And the traditional um, institutions are tailored and making efforts um, to improve embed accelerator programs by commitment to plan and carefully use existing resources. In conclusion today, we learn Number one, accelerated programs offer another alternative learning for older adults in higher education. Number two, it is an innovative support signal or tidal wave of change for higher education. Number three, accelerated programs include online study um, for profit institutions, colleges, and for non-traditional learners. Number four, assessment are near to similar to the traditional education. Number five, accelerated programs are more effective with non-traditional learner, um, operate at significantly lower cost, and have similar or better learning outcomes. Okay, now let's conclude my today's topic on non-traditional education that is introduction to the accelerator programs. My next topic will be objectives of staff appraisal uh, that is a key focus to achieve a priority goal for individual and organization. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.